In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about lights. Keep in mind that in this chapter, we're talking about visualization and I'm breezing through a lot of this stuff. I'm not spending a lot of time. I did a very specific series on renders and visualizations. If you'd like more information, definitely check that series out because it focuses on exactly this and that's all it covers. So if you're feeling a little bit left out, you're feeling like I'm lacking a bit of information, that's because this is not focused on the specifics of rendering and visualization. It's really just an introduction to what can happen. So in this video, we're gonna talk about lights. Now, there are a few things that we need to understand with lights. The first thing I wanna talk about is lights in a scene. So I'm gonna edit the scene and go to Photo V360 Lighting. Now, by default, when environments are created or when scenes are created, there are lights that are attached to them. From your visibility pane, you'll notice that we have a lights option. When we turn this on, I'm gonna go ahead and change the view and zoom out. You can see that we have a few lights here. We have the specific light and these lights. These are spotlights. If we go up to view, go down to lights and cameras, to properties. You can see these are all the cameras that I created. There's an ambient light, and then there's a directional one and a directional two. These change with the scene. So if I go in and I edit my scene, and let's say that I come down here to black with fill lights. Say okay. We go up to view, lights and cameras, to properties. There's directional three and directional four, but these are likely different than the ones in the last scene. Certain scenes only have one light, certain scenes have none, and so on. For instance, in the basic studio, if we go all the way down, there is a black scene, pitch black. There's no light in the scene and allows you complete control over adding light to your scene. Now, in our case, we're gonna go ahead and just talk about the different lights and what they can do for us. We're not gonna be applying lights to our scene. We're not gonna be doing a bunch of lighting because again, I mentioned, we have a very specific course on all these topics. So we're not gonna be covering them here. I just wanna give you a little bit of an introduction to them. So under view, lights and cameras, you can add several different types of lights. We have directional lights, and a directional light is essentially allowing you to focus on a target. So you can move this light around, you can manipulate it in and out, and the big thing that I wanna talk about, other than the light position, you'll notice that you can see it on the screen how it changes the model, is the fact that there's a difference between SolidWorks and PhotoV360. Now by default, this doesn't turn the light on in PhotoView, which means when you do a render or preview render, the light won't be there. So you need to make sure that you turn it on in PhotoView and note that the options inside of the basic settings, as well as in the SolidWorks settings, don't necessarily take effect inside of the Photo V360 settings. You have a brightness, you have shadows, and the shadow quality. Now we're not gonna apply the directional, but let's go back up and take a look at some of the other lights we have. A point light is a single point that you can attach to an object or simply place in the model that emits light in all directions. A directional light only emits from the light source pointing down to a specific place, most likely the origin. We have spotlights. Now spotlights are very handy because you can do a lot of things with these. You have the available option to change their position. Obviously you can move them around. We can rotate them, move them up and down. And you have the available option to change their focus. For instance, we can put a very narrow beam of light on a specific area. So you'll notice on this model, we have a very specific beam of light directly located above the hood. Now, if we go into SOLIDWORKS, there are some options in here, ambient brightness and the specularity. But in Photo V360, if we turn it on, we can modify the brightness. We have a soft edge option, which will give you a very realistic look of the shadows because you're not gonna have a perfectly hard edge. There's a shadow section, which you can modify some of the qualities here. And the really cool thing here is there's a fog section. Now, inside the fog section, you can do things like have fog appear inside of your beam of light. You have to use this very carefully, and it takes a long time to render, but it is a pretty cool option depending on what product you're doing. The next light inside here is going to be sunlight. Now, when you add sunlight, there's some pretty cool options in here as well. This is going to be the only light in your scene, but you can turn it on in both SOLIDWORKS and Photo V360. You can give it a north direction based on some references in your model, if there's a line or an edge and you can determine the location, the time, the date, and so on. So you have a lot of control over this. You notice there are a lot of cities already located in here. We can also specify a location by giving longitude and latitude. Let's say that we wanted this to be Dubai. You can see the time zone it's in. You can see the date and the time of day, and you get a preview on the screen where that sunlight is. 
this is a really cool way that you can really illuminate your model, especially something like a car or a big product that's going to be sitting outside. You can handle all that. There's also an advanced tab. It gives you a little bit more control over things like haze, which again is a really cool feature. If you're trying to do nighttime render as you're getting closer to dusk, you can do that and you can add the haze to the background. You can modify the sun diameter and you can also modify some other properties. Now, those are the different lights that you can apply to your model, but there are some other ways that we can apply light. So inside of your appearances, if we go back up to your appearances, if you scroll down, there's a section called lights. We can expand this and you'll notice that we have LED lights, neon tubes, backlit LCDs, and area lights. These allow you to apply lights directly to a surface. And you can also manipulate values. Let's go ahead and go to a different example to our machine design part. And let's select this face. If we want to apply a material directly to this face, it doesn't really matter what it is. It can be just this color. If we go to the advanced tab under illumination, we can actually give it a luminous intensity. So we can give it an intensity here. Let's actually give it something pretty bright and say 10. Let's modify our scene and let's go down to the pitch black scene. And let's take a look at a preview window. So what we've basically done is we've added a material to the face of our part and we've told it that we want it to emit light. So this is kind of handy if you wanna do things like create your own light bulb. If you don't wanna apply a directional light inside of a light housing, you can create a bulb or create a surface that you want to emit light. Very handy when you're creating your own scene and you wanna really do some detailed lighting effects. Now that's a very basic overview of lights. We're not gonna dive into all these lights and all the different properties because it's been covered in another series. But if you wanna deal with lights, you wanna add your own lights, just go in there and play with them. Add some lights, see what it does. Put a very generic product in there, or you have the Camaro model that comes with the series. Throw that in there, add some lights, figure out how you can make that model really pop.